We have a perfect storm where in business, we have all these generations that are intermingled together with different points of view, with different ways of growing up. And then we have all this technology disruption as well of new ways that we're going to need to work and think about the future and how we're going to deliver our services. As we approach this disruption, innovation, creative period in our businesses, this is the time where we have to step back and actually think about ourselves and how we approach trying new things and overcoming what we actually might be a little bit fearful of if we actually admit to it. Now, we can get similar feedback, whether we're in different jobs that we're at, with people that we love, our friends, whomever it is, where we start noticing we get similar feedback from one person to another. And a lot of times, we don't necessarily stop and pause and think about why do we keep getting that consistent feedback and why that becomes important is when we have these tendencies that repeat itself, this is what a habit is and a pattern that starts showing up in our lives and the way that we work and the way that we interact with people. And it's even more important now than any other time in this business disruption generational mix world that we actually step back and think about how are we showing up and what are the habits or inherited tendencies or belief systems that we are walking in with as we try to innovate. There's work that we need to do ourselves just internally to go through that process. And so many times it can be the simplest thing that we actually show up with each time that we encounter a new project, a new uh, technology that might be coming into our workplace or new employees that enter in the door. I know for me that I've always kind of called this my sixth sense where as soon as I see someone and I start sizing them up to see are they going to have an agenda in the workplace because I know for myself that if they have an agenda, I don't work that well with that, that I'm a person that is just who I am. So it's important for me to understand if someone has an agenda coming into the workplace, or is it? Or maybe that I'm actually creating my own pattern or habit in my life that might be creating an experience that is unwanted for me. And the funny thing about this is many people use my sixth sense that they like that I can pick up people's idiosyncrasies or understand body language and so forth and then give them some intel of what my thoughts are of that person. And usually I'm pretty good at coaching these people. I can step back and tell them from a third party observer what they should do to navigate a situation. But I know for myself, that I might react faster than I would tell someone else to or be more emotional than I would want to be. And the important thing is understanding this about ourselves as we encounter new experiences, new innovation, that we are actually honest with ourselves when we have these habits that get in our way. That to step back and start observing ourselves in those situations and what types of things could we actually do to pivot to react a little bit differently and to start playing with it and testing it, where instead of reacting right away, how about staying silent and not responding and actually observing what is happening in the room and is it me or is it them so that I can better understand that for myself. And when you back up from a situation, it can help you better observe how you behave and how you react to other people and how you might be able to change it in the future. So think about what that habit might be for you or what that pattern might be for you that might be blocking you from taking your next big opportunity with technology disruption, with business process re-engineering, so that you can take a hold of it and make it an advantage for yourself going forward in your career.